to me, a fart is funny. A fart, here's, let, let's break down a fart for a Please. second. It's a natural part of life and we all do it every day, but there's just something about a good fart that we can't help but laugh at. Welcome to Watch Mojo's <laughs> Top 5 Facts. It makes a little trumpet noise when it comes out. <laughs> In today's installment, we're counting down the top five hilarious and informative facts about farting. The bodily function with the biggest taboo. Uh, here's what I would say is that you don't have to be smart to laugh at farts, but you have to be stupid not to. Number five, we fart almost one big gulp per day. Oh God, oh, I think he might be having a heart attack. What? Are you serious? Oh, so much stuff is happening right now. You think that's oxygen you're breathing in right now? Wrong. Chances are it's somebody else's bench warmer or space heater. Doctors in Sheffield, England have actually studied how much the average human farts in a day, concluding that those with a healthy functioning gastrointestinal tract produce 10 to 20 power puffs a day. Charming. Depending on the person and probably how much cabbage they eat, that's up to 1,500 milliliters of gas. That's almost enough to fill a big gulp, which would be the worst slurpy flavor ever. Is there a term for having a heart attack while releasing so much gas? Not really. Gastrointestinal distress is common during a cardiac event. I just want to hear the doctor say that Jerry had a fart attack. Is that too much to ask? Number four, SBD's shock and awe. Oh, somebody hotboxed us? <laughs> I saw you close the window. What's that? It's when you close all the windows and fart on purpose. That was also an example of an SBD, or silent but deadly, also called silent but violent, because they always seem to be the worst. But why is that? Part of the answer is that your brain is just not prepared for it. The piece of our brain called the anterior cingulate cortex is responsible for warning you that a foul smell is to follow when it hears a fart, effectively preparing your body. When no sound is emitted, your body has no warning and therefore no defense to combat that rotting corpse smell that just seeped out of your friend's butt. The rest of the answer has to do with sulfur compounds, but more on that later. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Jesus. Number three. Herring farts almost caused an international incident. In 1981, a Soviet submarine ran aground while trespassing in Swedish waters. Afterwards, throughout the 80s, the Swedish military logged dozens of suspicious noises every year, which they took to be enemy subs, so they were more or less constantly on high alert. However, aside from the 1981 incident, no foreign subs were ever discovered. Finally, a small team of researchers realized that most of the sounds, in fact, all of the yellow portions of this graph, were actually coming from herring farts. So, a herring can squeeze its swim bladder, and in that way it can blurt out a small number of uh, bubbles through the, uh, through the anal opening. More recently, research has discovered that herring use the farts to communicate with each other. The bubbles signal a fish's presence to other fish, helping them stay in tight, protective schools. Number two, cow farts are the way of the future. Forget, hey, break out the beans. <laughs> Scientists in Argentina have devised a method to collect methane from cow toots, which helps produce green energy. There's a couple different ways to collect cow farts. The traditional method is to use a jar and catch it, but that's a little too primitive for what we need to do. After installing a tube into the cow's digestive tract, the little barn burners then travel to a sack on its back creating a whoopee cushion from hell. That gas, as much as 300 liters of it per cow per day, can then be converted into electricity. Some farms already have the technology to collect methane from manure as it decomposes, but this balloon of death method is more direct and has the potential to seriously reduce one of the planet's biggest sources of greenhouse gas. Was that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. I'm a tongue. Number one, women's farts smell worse than men's. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Renowned air biscuit researcher Michael Levitt, who has hundreds of published flatulence studies to his name, conducted experiments and concluded that women have smellier gas than men. And yes, the experiments literally consisted of volunteers eating pinto beans and backblasting into bags and judges inhaling them. You thought you had a bad job. The likely culprit of the odor? Higher amounts of hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is invisible, explosive, and flammable. Most importantly, it's deadly. H2S is one of the more pungent compounds of panty burps, so more H2S equals more blech. Sorry, ladies. In the immediate area of a leak or a release, follow these steps. One, hold your breath, but do not inhale to do so. Two, move upwind or crosswind and away from the leak area. Three, protect yourself by putting on an appropriate breathing unit. On the upside, 
Scientists have discovered that our cells use minute amounts of hydrogen sulfide to protect themselves. So there's a slight possibility that farts might be useful in preventing health problems like strokes and heart attacks. I fart in your general direction! So, will you be just a little more appreciative of farts now? <laughs> and what's your favorite word for fart? Mustache fart. For more socially acceptable top 10s and still taboo top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Uh-oh. Pardon me? Thank <music> you.